Hello friends, welcome to another key unboxing. And today's key unboxing, we're heading back to Kingwin because we haven't been there in a long time. Well, it feels like a long time. I don't remember when the last time we went to Kingwin was, but we haven't bought anything in a while. So we're, we're going to go to Kingwin. The... Key pack we're going to buy is the 10 key random steam cd key pack um, we're gonna get one of these four dollar and eleven cent one <clears throat> so before we go any further i just want to mention that if you're watching this video on the 13th when it's posted then you will want to come back in an hour at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to check out the contest for this month, uh, which would be about the mid-month Saturday. So definitely something you want to get into and you have a chance to win something. I'll reveal more about what that is in the video. If you're watching it after that Saturday, then you still want to check out the contest. So definitely want to go over and look up that video. But back to the key unboxing. So. Kingwin offers a base level 10 random Steam CD keys. And uh, they're just really just the generic keys. They offer premiums, they offer specialty ones. They have a lot of programs for these random keys. That's why I think I need to come here more often because I need to, uh, I need to do some videos that show these other ones other than the base one because I know one of my most watched key unboxing videos is is one of the Kingwin basic CD key unboxings. And the next one I think is the premium key unboxing. Uh, they're usually better than most of the other places we've been. Uh, so we'll see how that keeps up. But definitely never really complain too much about Kingwin's keys. So I went ahead and purchased this. So let's roll right into what we got. Here's the Steam page. First thing we got was Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders. The ABC Murders is an adventure and investigation game adapted from the classic Agatha Christie novel. You are the famous private detective Hercule Poirot. And once again, you find yourself up against a mysterious serial killer who goes by the name of ABC. It's not really a name. Oh, well. Mixed reviews. Recently. Mostly positive. I wonder if the reviews for this... It is an older game. But I wonder if the reviews have gone mixed because people aren't in touch with the source material as much anymore. Um... But for a 2016 game, it should be decently impressive. Uh, 15 online now, 35 peak today, and 222 all-time peak. Graphics look a little cut, cut and pasty. These guys look almost like reversed clones of each other. I wonder if that's supposed to happen, but maybe that might be indicative that the... Uh, well, the people do seem to appear differently. Anyway, I don't want to focus on one game. Let's move on to the next one. Next game, we got Obulus. Based on the award-winning mobile game of the same name, Obulus takes things to the next level by fusing highly compelling gameplay with outstanding graphics, music, and state-of-the-art physics. The goal of Obulus is to drop all of the colored spheres into their like-colored pots. So, I guess it's kind of like Tetris with balls, and you got to match the pots and get them in. Okay. All right. I mean, very positive reviews. And we have 444, and they're very positive. It might be worth giving it a shot. It's an older game from 2009, but that's okay. One online now, five peak today, and 33 all-time peak. I never played this, so... Doesn't mean it's bad. Next game on our list, 
Space Trader Merchant Marine, which is funny because I actually almost just bought this. It's an older game, came out in 2008, but I still don't have it. And I was looking for a space trading game, so this caught my eye. In the far future, humanity is ruled by the Ministry of Accounts, an oppressive bureaucracy that tracks, records, and taxes every transaction of daily life. From the depths of red tape, a new breed of marketeer arises to challenge the authority and make a profit. The space trader is born. Um, I don't know if it's any good, but for the reasonable price that it usually goes for, uh, can't be that bad. Mixed reviews, zero online now, two peak today, 41 all-time peak. Probably because it's an old game. No, just no. Why? The trading and shooting are great. The problems are terrible missions. 99% of the time spent running around without knowing what to do. I looked at a guide for the final mission and still had no idea. Another game I bought without question. While the setting seems brilliant, the execution is poor. Feels more outdated than Duke Nukem 3D. Well, it is old. 2008 was not the uh, high point of gaming, I have to say. All right. So the next game we got was Chompy Chomp Chomp. Chompy Chomp Chomp is a game where people of all ages, tastes, and skills can play together and enjoy themselves on a level playing field. What about people who can't see or hear? Does the game account for that? Play with your friends, kids, boss, gran. Lose your inhibitions. Whoa, lose your inhibitions. Shout and scream and generally have an awesome time. Very positive reviews, though for an inhibition removing game. Two online now, 13 peak today, 2,705 all time peak. Okay, well reviewed game at least. Next game we got was Biology Battle. In this classic space shooter, you take on the role of a medical nanobot and embark on an exciting journey into the depths of a biological cell. I, I don't see how that fits, but we'll, we'll have to check it out and see. But it's from 2008 as well. Zero online now, two peak today, nine all time peak. Mostly positive reviews. Could be a great game. We'll check it out later. Next, we got Platypus 2. Fly the famed platypus fighter through a fantastic landscape of carefully molded clay to protect inhabitants of Mongolia, Mongolia from the Colostropolians? Sure. Collect power-ups and bonus stars to give your platypus the boost you need. Every level of this gorgeous arcade challenge burst with original fun. While I was looking up the uh, prices on this, I noticed that Platypus 1 is worth more than Platypus 2, and I'm wondering if the mixed reviews are going to say not as good as the first. What a putrid sequel to a legendary game. Yep, not as, everybody's stuck on the first one. Okay, looks about right. Four online now, seven peak today, 1,687 all-time peak. And yeah, most of the negative reviews are people who say the original was better, which is usually the case. Because looking at this, the, uh, the graphic style is lacking, but sometimes people's expectation of a game is too high for a sequel when the original was innovative and caught someone's eye. So the next on our list is Commando Jack, a tower defense game, I like those, that actually allows you to sit inside the turret and come face to face with the enemies. Addictive strategy action game with loads of shooting and explosions nearing 2 million downloads. It's got 2 million downloads and has 10 reviews. 
But hey, maybe they've got a lot of different sources that they put this out on. Five online now, 13 peak today, and 1,363 all-time peak. It's got a lot of levels, and I do tend to like tower defense games, but mobile ports of games usually end up being a little weak. All right, anyway, uh, we won't know until we try it. Next game, Larva Mortis. At the end of the 19th century, dark forces shade the world once again. A brave agent experienced in exorcism and combat come face to face with the oncoming evil, or com comes to face the oncoming evil, sorry, and find loathsome supernatural monsters and horrific spawns of black magic. Um, mostly positive reviews. The graphics look like they're from 2009, which isn't bad, but it it's, looks dated. I can see where some people might have an issue with this. But having played some games in 2009, I can see where this was probably pretty good in 2009. Three online now, three peak today. 37 all-time peak. For an old game, that's not too bad, and it does have achievements. That's the key issue with, with some of these cheap games. If you get a game with achievements and trading cards, you can kind of make some of your money back. Next game on our list is Gold Rush Anniversary, which we already have, but that's okay. Gold Rush takes you back to the year 1849, when gold was discovered in California. It was certainly one of the most exciting times in American history. Gold Rush includes the three routes tens of thousands took to the gold regions become jared wilson and experience each trek as you travel from east to west is probably what it says whatever i'm not going to go over this again we've gone over it several times eight online now 17 peak today and 99 all-time peak and it has trading cards so could probably make her money back off of this one pretty easy well maybe not all of it but you know, we'll get something. And the last game in our 10-pack was Rhiannon, Curse of the Four Branches. Discover dark secrets in this chilling point-and-click adventure as you encounter an ancient evil lurking in the walls of the home that holds, the ter holds a terrible connection to a timeless struggle between man and magic. Two online now, five peak today, 11 all-time peak. And it does not have achievements or trading cards. So, point and click adventure, 20 to 30 hours. Not going to complain. All right, so how did we make out? Agatha Christie ABC Murders, $14.99 on Steam, $0.84 cents on King Gloom, $0.66 cents on G2A. And for this entire package, we paid a whopping $4.11. Obulus was $4.99 on Steam, $0.71 cents on Kinguin, $0.18 cents on G2A. And so here's the thing that dashes all your hopes. You see some of these games that look pretty decent. And then you see the Steam price and you think, oh, that's really good. And then you see like an $0.18 cent price on G2A. Kind of dashes all hope that the game is as good as you think. But it could just be old. I'm just going to give it that. It could be old. Space Trader Merchant Marines, $4.99 on Steam, $0.59 cents on Kinguin, and 36 cents on G2A. Chompy Chomp Chomp. $6.99 on Steam. 71 cents on Kinguin. 33 cents on G2A. Biology Battle. $4.99 on Steam. 52 cents on Kinguin. 20 cents on G2A. Platypus 2 is $6.99 on Steam. 44 cents on Kinguin. And 29 cents on G2A. Commando Jack. $9.99 on Steam. 42 cents on Kinguin. 33 cents on G2A. Larva Mortis is $4.99 on Steam, 76 cents on Kinguin, and 36 cents on G2A. Gold Rush Anniversary is $12.99 on Steam, 47 cents on Kinguin, and 16 cents on G2A. And Rhiannon Curse of the Four Branches is $5.99 on Steam, 71 cents on Kinguin, and 53 cents on G2A. Brings our steam total up to $77.90. Our Kingwin price for those items would have been $6.17, and our G2A price would have been $3.40. Awesome. 
So there we have it. The Kingwin 10 pack. What do you think? Was it worth it? Was it not worth it? Anyway, uh, I have decided, as I mentioned previously, I am not going to give my opinion on whether I think it was a waste of money anymore based on feedback that I've gotten from people. So I'm going to let you decide and you talk amongst yourselves as to whether you think it was worth it or not. But I do encourage you to stop back for a contest. It happens every month around the middle of the month. And the drawing will be at the, the well, usually it's the Saturday that occurs in the middle of the month, and the drawing is at the last Saturday of the month. I like to give two weeks for people to uh, get their stuff in. Some people don't get a chance to come wa watch the videos all the time. Anyway, maybe in July, we're going to do some really special things to celebrate the one-year anniversary of the channel. So maybe we'll do a giveaway every week then. But hey, we'll see how it goes. Until then, though, I will see you guys later. Take it easy.